Hello guys, this is Soleil Moon. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not new here, if you are new here, hi, welcome. I hope you enjoy the videos and I hope you enjoy this disaster of a channel because something wrong always goes on here. Always, always. But I try to make it good still. I try to make it the best I can for you guys, okay? So, today is one of those days where it is not gonna be like usual, okay? This was supposed to be Life is Strange. One. Episode five, five, the finale, the grand big thing. And let me tell you, it was very grand, but we hit a roadblock. You played yourself. We hit a roadblock, guys. It, it's a pretty, a pretty huge one. I was recording for three, I think actually four hours. It was four hours of recording. That's a long time, okay? And let me just show you guys what has happened. And then we'll talk about everything like that. Okay, we'll get to that. But let me just show you guys. Here on the screen, as you can see, this is this, my screen recordings. This right here is all my screen recordings. This is how I record the gameplay I play. So you guys can see what options and stuff I choose and all that. Well, this right here, these two clips are the four hours of the Life is Strange finale episode. Let me just show you why they're why they're black and not like these ones where you can actually see what they probably are. Um, this one's deleted. I don't know why it's still there, but I'll get to that. This this right here. Let me just click on one for you. It's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And let me just fast forward a little bit. Don't move. Oh. Yeah, you see what that is? You see what that is? That is, for some reason, my screen recording did not record my screen. But it did, in fact, record the audio. Which, I guess, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's okay, you know? It's okay, but it's not. Cause now, what? I, let me tell you, when I found this out, I was getting ready to edit. I put everything in and then I clicked on this and I was like where's where's my pictures where's 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 my gameplay so yeah it's it's been interesting it's been interesting but I calmed myself down because it happens it happened especially on this channel something always goes wrong the audio doesn't record the visuals don't record I don't record <laughs> so so, There's always something that happens. I originally was going to. Oh, I just um, I drop by. Originally, I just what I was gonna it. do was I was gonna just replay it. Um, obviously, tell you guys that I've already played it through and that now we're having some sort of issue, and so it, my reaction would have been less than what it was. And that's, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't replay it. If you guys really want to see me replay it, okay. But this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the choices I chose for the ending. And I'll talk about it and I'll explain why I picked certain choices and all this kind of stuff. But I did not want to replay the episode knowing that I know what comes ahead. Yes, I may have forgotten some things and I've been uh, shocked again, but I know all the major events and I know things that happen and it just wasn't a right for me. Like my original reaction was so much. I was re-watching it and I was like, man, if only, if only I could show you guys this because a lot of it I was shocked in. And literally at the end, the, the last hour, that's why I have two clips of screen recordings because the last hour of the game, I had to pause. I had to leave the game because it was there was just so much going on, so many emotions, so, so much, funny. just so much stuff. And it was really hot in this room oh, for some reason. I was what? sweating like crazy. I'm I got such a it. huge headache and I literally felt nauseous. I don't know what it was, but my body was just going. And so I had to take a moment. I had to take a pause. This episode's gonna probably be a little boring, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up Life is Strange and I'm gonna find the choices I had. And then I will explain to you guys why I picked those choices and um, what I thought about certain things and the certain endings and stuff. Um, you know, it's just, just, it's just, 
I just can't believe it didn't record that this last episode was so intense 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 like I was I was just constantly yelling I was constantly getting mad I was it was just so much going on I was like wow okay this this is how this game's gonna do this kind of thing but yeah we're gonna go through this and I'm gonna show you what what I sh what I picked and why I picked it okay okay guys here we are this is the first this is like the main choices I guess um we'll go through these and then i'll go through um certain things that i remember happening that i want to make a point on and i talk about because i just remember it and then we'll get to the main decision the big decision that i had to make i'm so upset because i literally sat there for i don't know how long trying to figure out what i was going to do what what am i going to do so the first thing here says david got a scar during the fight this is going to tie into the one of the main points I want to mention. First off, I want to say, I don't know how I could have prevented him from getting a scar. When I was playing the game and he was fighting Mr. Jefferson and I had, you know, I had Max had to warn him constantly and stuff. I tried everything. I do not know how I could have prevented him getting a scar. I do not. I'll have to look it up and see if there's something but from what I did, I don't know how many things I did to just get him to win, just in general, let alone for him not to have a scar at the end of the fight. There was no way he was not going to be injured somehow. But that, that whole scene, let me tell you, made me sick, ill. Physically, I wanted to just quit it all. And it was just the beginning because here's the thing. I watch a lot of stuff. I'm desensitized from a lot of stuff, but just the thought of Mr. Jefferson being a teacher around all these kids, around all these students and everything made me ill. It really made me ill. And let me see if I can, for those who haven't seen, if you haven't seen gameplay on this, which I feel like you probably have because this has been out for years, but then again, I didn't play it and I didn't watch it for years until now. Um, so what happened was Mr. Jefferson kidnapped us and we found out that Mr. Jefferson was behind all these disappearances for, you know, Victoria and, um, well, he just took Victoria. I meant to say Kate. For Kate, for, um, Rachel and all this kind of stuff. But there was a little bit of a twist. Je Mr. Jefferson is not the one that did the things to Rachel. It was Nathan, which kind of explains his attitude when... Rachel gets brought up and stuff. It, it, it does explain a lot, but Nathan killed her. He's the one that got, you know, and then buried her and took pictures with her. But everyone else was Mr. Jefferson. And that, I think that's what makes me sick. Because he was, he, he infuriated me to no end in this episode. He was just creepy and gross. He was constantly creeping. He was touching her face and stuff. He was taking pictures of her and saying, yeah, right there like that. Ooh. It was disgusting it was gross literally i hated it and i was so glad when freaking david showed up of all the people i wasn't expecting david to show up i don't know why i just expected david to just be done with now so i was a little shocked but when he showed up i when we heard that someone's coming i was like who is that and then he popped his little your know, military haircut out I was more, I was never, I was never happier. It was so nice. So he came, he saved the day, but he got a scar in the process, which sucks. And then Mr. Jefferson put a bomb on us and told us he had killed Nathan. He killed Nathan. When I tell you that kind of pissed me off, and here's the thing, I know a lot of people probably don't like Nathan. Understandable, completely understandable. I don't like him either. My problem with Nathan is he has issues. He's not mentally okay, and he didn't really grow up in a loving household. I think the only person we've seen that actually that has actually given him some sort of care or has actually shown that they care about him was his sister in a letter. That was, it. his parents literally make him make appointments his parents literally do not care they don't really care about him and they wouldn't listen to his psychiatrist or i think that's what they or was it his therapist i think it was a psychiatrist but don't 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 kill me she she had told him he has issues 
and you guys need to come in so we could talk about it and stuff like that but they refused to so she's like i have to drop him because you're not trying to fix the problem or you're not trying to help him in any way understandable though she's like basically she was wasting her time and that's understandable but i felt really bad for nathan because he wasn't okay and instead of getting help and instead of people you know helping him his family didn't care besides his sister and mr jefferson did not help at all because if it wasn't for mr jefferson nathan probably would have never ever even done what he did to rachel because nathan saw that mr jefferson was doing this and he was like i'm gonna try that i'm gonna replicate that and he tried it and then got rachel killed like mr jefferson is all around a terrible guy and i am so glad that in this next choice i let david kill him thank you very much much because i could not stand i could not stand the fact that it was like you, you could kill him you know whatever and so this was the option these were the choices i think it was um tell him about chloe or don't tell him about chloe because mr jefferson had shot chloe in the head we'll get on that in a second too and so i decided to tell him because i know david's a crazy like he he's he's a lot sometimes but at the same time, here's the thing, a lot of people who come from the military and stuff have a lot of PTSD or end up having a lot of issues as well. So I kind of wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's just, he wants to be sure that his family was safe. That's why the cameras were there, all this kind of stuff. And he was suspicious of something and he had the right to be suspicious. The sad thing is he was suspicious of the wrong people, you know? And so when I told, I let him know that Chloe was, that he shot Chloe, because he had the right to know he cared for chloe and it may not seem like it and that one scene where he did bart was trying to barge into her room and then he slapped her that scene still rubbed me the wrong way but but chloe he had a reason to believe chloe was doing stuff because she stole from him she would steal constantly so i'm not i'm not even surprised that he was concerned about her and he did care for her in his own way you could tell and so i told him and then he he killed mr jefferson which i was perfectly fine with and i was so happy when it happened because he's the scum of the earth and did not deserve it, he did not deserve he, he didn't care when he killed everyone else and that's the thing is we don't know how many people he has killed we do not know or just drugged and stuff actually i don't actually now that i think about it i don't we'll make points in a second we'll make points in a second next choice next choice it says you saved the trucker so when when we're done with mr jefferson because david got to under control we're going to see um oh so we had called because all the pictures that we had got burned so we couldn't use our rewind power to go back and you know hopefully start in a dis different place and so mr jefferson had burned them and stuff so we had no pictures but in the last episode warren took a picture with us at the party and so we were going back so we could get that picture from warren but he was in town at the cafe so we were going we draw we took mr jefferson's car because he ain't gonna need it no more <laughs> you know what i mean we took mr jefferson's car we were driving through the rain the storm and everything we're over here like and she went through she went through and as we're going through we have to get to the diner but in the process we're actually saving a bunch of people because i didn't want people to die i'm not gonna do that like the the main point of literally this whole game is to well some of it is to save arcadia bay from the storm you know and so i was like oh why would i kill people like what the heck so i saved the trucker and i saved ethan oh evan sorry let me tell you right now though let me tell you right now though evan was the bitches man through this whole scene let me tell you he was trying to take pictures of dead bodies of people who got crushed from buildings falling and stuff. Evan was trying to take pictures of people dead and also trying to just take pictures of stuff. And every time Max was like, I made Max go, you know, t talk to him, tell him to leave. He'd be like, Max, it's okay, I'll be fine. And then he'd get crushed. Like, come on, it took me like eight tries to finally get him to survive. I can't believe I put that much time in him. Like, ooh. 
Ooh, I wanted so bad to just be like, you know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care. But I decided to try. The next one. This next one right here. You didn't save Allison. When I tell you, I did not see Allison at all. So when I read that at the end of the game, I was mad. I was mad because I would have saved Allison. I've been saving Allison from, you know, balls hitting her. Do not take that the wrong way. Stop right there. And from, you know, getting in the pool, from water splashing on her. So the fact that I couldn't even really save her from her actual life ending. I didn't see her and that makes me upset. So we're going to move on because I'm sad about that. But in the end, you know, whatever. Okay, I saved the fisherman, which he was in a fire, which was pretty hard, but not really. Evan was literally the most difficult and he, he shouldn't have been. And then we finally get to the diner and this part freaked me out. Okay, so when you get to the diner, a fire breaks out and explodes the diner with Warren, with Frank and Frank's dog, with, um, there's other people, but Joyce, they're all in there. And it went, <laughs> as soon as I saw it go, boom, I reversed. I reversed. You're not about to kill some of my favorite people. Not happening, not happening. So I had to reverse, finally got in, you know, stopped the fire from going. So we go, go in. First person we talked to, I talked to Joyce. And so, you know, it was, it was a good time. You know, I didn't, I didn't tell her about Chloe, which you think, I don't, I don't remember if I had an option to or not, but I didn't tell her about Chloe. Um, because that would devastate the heck out of her. And if we're just going to reverse time with the picture, I didn't see the point, honestly. I didn't see the point of saddening her if I'm just going to reverse, you know, whatever, you know. So I, I decided, you know, I'm just not going to tell her. I, yeah, that's true. I, I never mind. I did have a choice. I chose not to choose to tell her because we were going to reverse anyways. And I don't want to see that woman sad. Okay. Okay. She's a queen and does not deserve to be saddened. And so... We told her that, you know, she believed in David again, which I probably shouldn't have because he has issues that he needs to work on. But I decided to, t you know, I I'm too nice. I guess that's what I want to say. And so I was like, you know what? Believe in him again. Believe in him. Because I could see where he does like, not like, just like, <laughs> where he loves her. He just needs to work through his issues. And they, I don't know. He needs to communicate more. And hopefully he learns to do that. And then... Um, We've talked to Frank, we talked we, we talked to Frank, and it says, you told the truth about Rachel the Frank. Yes, I'm gonna make a point on something. I didn't really realize for some reason the big issue with Rachel and Frank, but I'll come, I'll talk about that in a second. But I did tell, Ra I did tell Frank that Rachel was dead because I feel like he deserved to know. He's li living his life all miserable and stuff because he didn't know, you know, and, we told him we would tell him if anything we found anything and we did so i told him i was honest okay i have a point on that though and last but not least well it's not it's not last but the last of these like small choices i guess it says you kissed warren you didn't show warren any affection or you hugged warren i decided to kiss warren and here's why i know i know i know max doesn't have any interest in warren whatsoever besides a friend he even knows that, okay? Also, I know Max has more of a interest in like Chloe, um, would probably have an interest in Rachel if she was alive. Um, but here's the thing. This is what I was thinking when I was doing it. Warren thinks the world might end. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is it, you know, whatever. And we we don't know, you know, we, we, we know we can try and fix it, you know? Um, Warren was really down in the dumps and if we're going back he's not gonna remember it anyways but I feel like at that moment in this like weird timeline I was thinking if this is a different timeline you know if the storm happens in this timeline and you know whatever it's just a whole thing I feel like he would deserve a kiss you know because Warren has been there for us since the beginning and he's you know believed in us he's fought for us you know he's just one of those characters that i love warren is just one of those characters where he's a big goofy 
smart funny guy and i think he deserved at least a kiss at the end you know i'm not gonna hug him like what what give the man a kiss he loves you he, he won't even remember it now you know you know that kind of just okay and that is it for the that's that's it for those like major choices now of course there's things in these choices that you cannot see um that i wish this is why i wish it was recorded because i spent four hours recording but there were little things that really made me ooh, like okay how do i explain this in the most simplest terms after warren gives us the picture and we go back we get stuck in like this time weird thingy like it's it's weird and like we have to go through mazes with mr jefferson nathan david with like flashlights and frank with like flashlights and we're trying to click the bottles like we did when we were at the junkyard with chloe and it's like it's basically it seems like a big dream like you know how you have weird dreams where they make no sense but they kind of make sense that's kind of what we had to go through and that was freaking hard literally after that was during that was when i got sick <laughs> because i was like what is going on it was just like a huge dream we were at the school at one point it, it was just like one big it was like she smoked a bunch of weed probably took some you know acid and then just tripped out the whole time like that's what it seemed like i knew something was wrong with mr jefferson i said it throughout the videos that i didn't like him because he just seemed arrogant he seemed narcissistic he seemed like he thought he was better than everybody and i can't stand people like that because you just know they're they're people can change yes but it's just it just it seems like the change is so far off that i didn't believe he actually cared for the students or anything like that it was there was just something off about him so i was kind of upset with myself that i didn't put two and two together that it could be mr jefferson that was doing everything and not nathan i did suspect it wasn't nathan only because everything was too neat even in nathan's own room he had like a little pile of like things strewn around it was still neat but there was piles where like things were thrown everywhere and all like that that kind of stuff so i couldn't see him being that neat but what bugs me the most about mr jefferson is he's kind of it i want to say this kind of goes um the, this game is very good at hitting things real world problems because there's even in the real world there's places where people are teachers or counselors or just places they shouldn't be and they're like predators and stuff like that mr jefferson is a good example of that he's a high school teacher he i hate to say this okay i personally stopped finding mr jefferson attractive after i found his personality after his personality came out i was like you really are i don't know what I, why i thought you were attractive for a, a few minutes but if we think of it in the gist like if we didn't know him mr jefferson is not a bad looking guy so it bugs me the most because he knows it too he knows he's you know a good looking guy but he has issues obviously this is a man that literally sits there and just while you're sitting there he's probably sitting there thinking i'm gonna drug this girl i'm gonna take pictures of her and either probably kill her or oh that's the point i wanted to make probably kill her or not before i forget that's the thing i don't understand is he had folders upon folders just red fold binders with girls names on it my thing is none of these girls were missing at least in this town so i don't know if they, he was somewhere else and those are probably from other places or if that's all from arcadia bay but we will never know if they were here or there at least that i know of if you know please comment it down below and we will never know if he killed those people or not my thing was i don't think he did because then it would be missing kind of like rachel did but then again what if they're just girls he that weren't important that weren't didn't have a happy family that didn't really care about them and stuff i it's just one of those things that it's like what did he do to the other girls and did they die or did they not you know what i mean and that and that's another point i want to make it was just females ring all he did it was just females that's all he ever did it with and then 
back when we were when warren gave us the picture and we were going back and i said it was like that lucid dream weird sequence that was going on we ended up in the classroom and i had made a comment in that video but of course it didn't work out i had made a comment that i noticed that the class we were in there was only like two to three guys in it there wasn't even any like mostly men it was mostly girls it was mostly girls and it kind of bugged me because i was like literally all these girls some of them are potential targets like we saw their names and some of them may become potential targets for him and it just makes me sick it literally just makes me sick because thinking that max was sitting there and he talked to her and you could tell she was one of the targets because the way he talked to her when he caught her because he was just being creepy and weird and he made he's like me and you are alike and shut the hell up like this is a creep it's a creep i was literally throughout the whole thing i was so disgusted and so done with him i was done so yes i let david kill him because he i was getting tired of his bull okay his bull um but i i'm glad that's over with i'm glad that's done the other point i want to make is i don't remember how old i'm assuming rachel this is the frank and rachel topic okay okay pause pause right here hi you guys future me here um as i just said and as i said earlier in this video i was going to make a point about frank and rachel's relationship because after i was done playing the game i was on some forums and stuff like that and i saw that the topic of rachel's age when she got together with frank was a thing and i wanted to make some points on that and talk about how i feel about that situation i'm not gonna get too crazy into it i'm not gonna get too deep into it because i don't know the full gist of the story so i'm i, I can't really make make a whole thing about it you know so from what i thought i knew apparently i thought rachel and frank got together when rachel was about 18 to 19. Um, I've seen some people say they got together before that, which is a little off and which is a little weird, yes. But I don't know. So if you know and have proof on their age and stuff like that, you can go ahead and comment down below and stuff like that. I personally do not know. I've tried looking for it, but I haven't really been able to find anything. But I'm also not trying to romanticize the relationship in any sort of way because the relationship wasn't, wasn't really romantic. One thing we do know is it was clearly obvious that Frank loved Rachel. He absolutely loved that girl. But from what I can remember, I don't think Rachel was in love with Frank because Chloe stated when she found out that her and Frank had a relationship, she was upset and said she would never do that. She's only doing this because she wants the drugs or the car or whatever. And so I believe Chloe with that to an extent because Nathan also said when he mentioned the blood pact in the other, I think it was two videos ago, um, he mentioned that they had a weird relationship. It was just weird. He didn't say romantic. He didn't say cute. He said it was weird. So it makes me believe that Frank genuinely was in love with Rachel with how he acts and stuff like that. But I don't think Rachel was in love with Frank. I think she liked him maybe, but I think she mostly used him for drugs, possibly a sexual but um, that's as far as I know. I don't know how old they were when, you know, they got together and stuff like that. And I don't want to kind of, I don't really want to get into that. Uh, I feel like they would have made a point to show that they were a certain age in the game because they do with everything else. But I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to make you make sure you guys knew I wasn't romanticizing their relationship at all because I'm not too certain on it myself, you know? But yeah, thank you. Thank you for taking this time to listen to me ramble. Thank you very much. And back to uh, right now, um, when it gets back to past me, I'm going to, you know, do the big, the big reveal, the big decision that I did. So hope you're prepared for that. Okay, bye. And hi, future me, I guess. Past me, I don't Bam. know. Bam. I'll, I'll let you take a moment. I'll let you take a moment. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 guys, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I know. Okay. 
I know. Okay, I know. I just, let me tell you. Well, let me just read it. 48% of people decided to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. 52% of people decided to sacrifice Chloe. I am part of the 52%. I sacrifice Chloe. Now, before you guys start hexing me, before you guys start, you know, putting bad juju on me, before you guys start, you know, cursing my unborn child later on down the road, let me explain to you why I chose this option. Because this is how I feel, and this is my opinion. I know a lot of people won't like that because I know a lot of people love Chloe as her character. But let me explain to you why I did not choose to do that. Why I chose to sacrifice her and not Arcadia Bay. So while I was sitting here trying to figure out which one I wanted to do, at first I was like, man, Arcadia Bay has been nothing but trash. You know, everyone hates it here. So why keep it? And then I started thinking about everybody in Arcadia Bay. Okay, let me let me say this in the most simplest simplest way that I can without people hating me for it. So my main reason So let me just start with one of my reasons as to why I sacrificed Chloe. I did not like Chloe's character in the beginning of the game for like the first 3 chapters. The last 2 chapters is when I started to kind of like her because i say last two okay hold on a second the first like three chapters i didn't really like her the fourth chapter is when i started to like her because she seemed like she was growing but that was the issue for me it was not enough for me to actually like her to that extent i was upset that she got shot because i was just now starting to like her it, it was just one of those where it was like oh she's growing but she didn't, she, for me personally, she didn't grow on me enough for me not to sacrifice her. I'll explain that more in a second. So like, my thing is, if I would have gotten no Chloe more, if I would have liked her a little more, then yeah. But you have to understand, from the beginning, when Chloe figured out that Max had this power, Chloe was mad at Max for a long time she was upset with her which understandable but she was upset with her this is an issue she had on her own she was upset with max that max left arcadia bay left her but that's not max's choice her parents moved max can't just be like no and then her parents are like well okay then you know so that was her own issue she needed to figure out on her own that was not max who left you her parents needed to move i'm assuming so she left with them now, Max not contacting her or writing her is a bad thing. And then her being there for like a month and still not talking to Chloe is still a shit thing to do. Yes, yes it is. But you cannot constantly blame Max for things that she has no control over. That is not a good friendship. That is a toxic friendship. And then the other issue I had with Chloe is Max has told her, I don't know how long I have this rewind power. It, she's seen it hurt her. She's seen her have headaches. She's literally seen her pass out once. She gets bloody noses and she doesn't know. She could not, literally when Kate, my girl Kate, when Kate almost ended it all, Max's rewind power stopped. It stopped time, but she couldn't rewind. She had to do it on her own. And she had told Chloe that, I don't know how long I have my rewind power for. I don't know when it will just stop on me. I don't, she doesn't know this kind of stuff. And Chloe still, still continued, continued to push her and say stuff like, well, you have your rewind power. Oh, you could just rewind and save me again. No, that's not how that works. One, you're not the only person in Max's life. Two, you're not the only person in the world. And three, she just told you this one thing, you should listen to her. And the sad thing is, Max would tell her, yeah, I can't, you, but you know, you have to be careful. But Max feels guilty for the fact that she did not contact her and that she felt like she did leave her, that Max would go along with Chloe's thing. That's not a friendship. It's not, it's not a good one at least. So I had issues with Chloe because she only cared about herself and Rachel. That's another thing I want to get into. I know they're teenagers and that's just how teenagers are. They're very dramatic and everything like that. 
But the amount of times Chloe constantly mentions Rachel, I get it, she's your best friend and you love her. We literally saved Kate and she just kept thinking about Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Okay, that's great. But I literally just saved somebody from them ending it all. How about how I feel right now? Matt, that's another thing. Not once that I, not once has Chloe sat there and got, how are you doing, Max? How are you doing? You've been running around doing all this stuff. How are you doing? Are you okay? Like you've been through a lot. Not once, not once. At least that I remember from, not once. And the only time Chloe was kind of being, you know, I, yeah, I, I'm glad you saved Kate. I'm glad we came here to see Kate. You know, I'm glad you're, you're I, I'm i thankful for you. I'm glad you're here with me. Was literally the fourth episode. The last episode we I, that I posted. That is not, you can't just show character development like that. Yeah, I was glad she was growing. I was actually starting to like her because I was like, oh, she's learning. She's growing. But it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough for me because it's, I know you guys are going to hate me. I know you guys are going to hate me. My thing is the whole episode, it, she was just, whole episode, the, most of the game, she was just thinking about herself. And so it irritated me because I get it. You're having a hard time. Your life is hard. You know, you, you feel like you don't have anybody, but one, you shouldn't put it, take it out on other people. And I know a lot of people do that, but still, you shouldn't take it out on other people and you shouldn't just be thinking about yourself. Yeah, your life is your life, but the whole world does not revolve around you. You know what I mean? And let's move. Now I'm going to move on to the next point. And I'm not. Okay, so here's the thing. I want to start off by saying, making a disclaimer before I continue is I didn't hate Chloe. I did not like Chloe in the beginning, but I didn't hate her. Um, but this next point is another reason why I sacrificed her. Um, so... I wasn't sure how things were going to end with Arcadia Bay um, if we sacrificed it. Now, I didn't know if it was going to do all the same, the same. So we saved all those people, correct. We saved Evan, we saved Warren, Joyce, you know, um, Frank. We saved uh, the, tr the truck guy. We saved, um, we saved quite a bit of people. Um, and those, those line of events happened while we were just walking to the, well, we drove to the diner, but walking to the diner. And I wasn't sure if those same line of events were going to happen or were happening while we were talking, you know? So it's one of those instances where it's like, I, I decide to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. Does that mean that Warren and Joyce and Frank and Frank's dog and the one trucker guy, I think that's who else was in there explode in the diner does that does that line of events still happen um does evan still get crushed because he couldn't not be a dumbass does you know i mean i i killed Alyssa. i didn't know Alyssa was there okay i don't hate me but if let's say i saved Alyssa, does Alyssa still die does the, the the truck driver in the fire still die like do all these people die do these line of events still continue i still don't know and so I didn't want that to happen because to me personally, I love Warren and I love Joyce. So, well, I don't love Joyce. But hi, Joyce. No, I like Joyce. She was a nice, she's a nice mom. She's a good mom, you know? Um, but I love Warren. And here's the other thing. I think if I remember correctly, Kate did leave the hospital, but what if something happened to her on the way out of the, ho out of the hospital? what what if something happened i am definitely i did not save kate for her to die and then let's say let's say kate did survive it let's say she got out of town and was fine warren was still there Alyssa was still there freaking daniel was still there freaking hayden hayden was something else but hayden wasn't bad you know he's like still a good guy you know just all these characters we saved victoria victoria was still there David was still there. All Frank's dog was still there. All these people were there. And I was not about to sacrifice all these people with the potential of them dying when I liked them way more than I did Chloe. I'm not about to sacrifice all these people for one girl who's done nothing, nothing but 
be a bitch. I'm gonna be honest. Don't get me wrong. At the ending, she was very, it was very strong of her. She was very, she even told Max, you can sacrifice me. I, you know, she, you could tell she learned her ways and she was like, I, I'm good, you know. If you need to, do it, you know. Yeah, she grew. For like a one and a half episodes, guys. Probably not even that. Probably half of both episodes and made it one. Okay. I didn't... I was not about to sac possibly sacrifice all these people that I liked and that I got to know more of for Chloe. It sounds so bad. It sounds so bad. And I know a lot of people like Chloe. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind Chloe, okay? Um, you, I can tell how she is a good person um, towards the end, you know? I can tell that she was a good person and she has a heart, you know? She's not just the, the mean, rude girl that she was when we met her, you know? But it's just... I just couldn't do it. I just could not sacrifice all these people for Chloe, okay? And here's the thing. Yeah, Arcadia is not great, okay? The Prescotts are, think, you know, all these things, you know, here are, are going on and stuff. But here's the thing. Prescotts are probably, are going to get taken down because their people are realizing that they're not great, you know? All these things are going to happen. So they're not going to stay there for long. And at the same time, they're... All of the people we know are kids. They're teenagers. They will be able to get out of that town if they want to get out of that town, you know? Arcadia Bay is not where they're stuck for forever, you know? They will leave it eventually. I'm not going to ruin a whole town because for Chloe, I, I know, I know, don't hate me. I don't hate me, okay? I almost chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay because I was like, Arcadia Bay sucks, you know? No one's happy there. And then I was like, you know, Chloe can grow and, you know, do things she wants to do. But at the same time, I just couldn't do it. Okay. I just couldn't do it because there's so many people that have a chance to grow. It's kind of like that trolley thing where, oh, there's two old people walking. You either get to hit the two old people, you hit the, the young mom and her kid. Which one are you going to choose? You chose the... You choose the ones that have a possibility, you know, have a longer life. It sounds bad. It sounds bad. But I personally like... I'm okay with the choice I chose. And it, it really tied together because we saw the butterfly in the beginning. That's the other thing I want to mention, actually, before I end that there. Is Chloe, to me, in my opinion, Chloe was possibly meant to die. It sounds crazy. She also has a possibility of living if you chose her. But my thing is, everything, the storm, her powers, and everything started with us saving Chloe. What if, maybe that's why everything went to, you know, because we screwed up stuff by trying to save Chloe. And maybe she was supposed to die that day and we shouldn't have messed with it. We shouldn't have wanted it so bad to when we got powers. And maybe that's the game's way of telling us, you know, you have this power, but is it worth it? You saved Chloe, but was it worth it? Was that the better two evils, you know? Um, because she was supposed to die that day. Let's be real. If we didn't have powers that she would just be dead. So it's like, in my opinion, it seemed like it was perfect, I guess. But Chloe was supposed to die. She didn't. We saved her. Everything happened. And then we chose to just sacrifice her anyway, which she was okay with. Obviously, you can't be prepared for that, but she was okay with it. And so we did it to save all these people that I love, okay? Save all these people. And not only that, she gets to be with Rachel now. Her one true love. She loves that girl, you know? Um, and then that, that's that's my, that's my main two reasons. And I know, I know a lot of people won't agree with me on it. I know a lot of people won't like the fact that I chose that option. But you know what? I don't care. You know, you can play this game yourself and you can, you could choose the option you like, you know, this is just my options, my choices that I chose. And I like the way it ended. I'm okay with the way it ended. It ended with, you know, Max going on in life. Everyone's alive and everything's good. And <sighs> Chloe's still dead, but 
But there was a funeral service for her and there was a little butterfly that came by and landed on her casket. And I thought, you know, that's Chloe right there. That is Chloe right there. And I think, I think it ended good, you know? I think I like the way it ended. Hi again, guys. It's future me again. Um, I didn't like the way I ended this video because I started to get nervous because my fiance got home. So you could tell my brain is in two places. My thought, I'm like, oh my gosh, it might be too loud, all this kind of stuff. But basically what I said at the end of this video was that I like this game because it has some real world problems. Um, and it shed light on some of it, like um, mental health issues and not having, you know, people not actually get the help they need and the effects it could have with it. Or the fact that, you know, everyday predators or killers and all that kind of stuff are out there. Mr. Jefferson is a good example of that. He's an attractive man who works at a high school where his potential targets are the people he teaches. So, you know what I mean? And then there's also the 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 thought of being young but feeling like your whole world um or your whole life is bad just because you're in this one small little town and stuff and all these little things that people have real issues with and i think that's really nice or or um suicide um that you know um it just it sheds a light because you know your words can hurt people and it could cause things to ha happen and all that kind of stuff. And that's basically what I was saying at the end. And then I was also saying that um, I do like this game. Don't get me wrong. I really don't mind this game. I think certain characters, Chloe, um, could have been wrote a little better. But, but, um, I, I still think personally the game was quite, quite good. Um... But yeah, but yeah, um, I, I'm sorry this episode wasn't as great because the footage was gone, <laughs> but um, let me stop saying um, lordy, <sighs> okay, this episode was not how I wanted it to be because the last episode, you gotta be kidding me, <coughs> excuse me. This episode was not how I wanted it to be because there was a whole thing, a whole discussion, all that kind of stuff. And I'm sorry it's more of an, a boring episode, but I still wanted to tell you guys my choices that I made. And I still wanted to explain why I chose certain choices and stuff. So I still wanted to post about it because it's the, it's the finale episode. It's not like I could post it about it again. Um, but the next episode will most likely be either it will be the last episode for literal nightmares 2 i know some of you guys are probably been waiting for that i'm a little nervous to get back into it because i haven't played it in a while but it's okay we'll we'll beat it um hopefully um and then or it's going to be life is strange 2 episode 1 um depending on what it is i guess we'll see um but i'm excited i'm 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 sad that the recording didn't happen how i wanted it to but I'll accept it for what it is, you know? You can't you can't change what already happened, you know what I mean? And I also did water time, but I rushed it and I didn't like that because water time is a special time, okay? Water time. Okay, if you don't know what water time is, water time is where I just remind you to drink some water, okay? You could drink it now, you could drink it later, you could pause and come back to it later or you could just drink it on your own you don't have to drink it with me but this is just your daily reminder but if you want to drink it with me let's go unpause it whenever you are ready <gasps> refreshing. refreshing also obviously you don't need to no! drink water <laughs> You know, you can take a sip or whatever, but just remember to drink your water because water is good for you. And the summer times are going to be coming up soon. You got to be prepared. Why did I shake the whole desk? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming by and dealing with the shenanigans of my channel not properly working. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys have a good day and a good night. Adios.
when it's over, I might kiss the sky. I'll need your roses, no last goodbye. Yeah, my soul cries out in the dead 